Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be about the narcissist stalling on things, the narcissist holding things up, preventing you from doing things, not doing things for you, preventing you from moving on. And when it comes to people in general, people can all potentially do one or two of these things. However, when it comes to a narcissistic person, it would be a pattern of behaviour on a repeat programme that they run off. So once they've stalled on one thing, they stall on another and another and another. Genuine people can promise to do something and then life crops up and they, they think, oh, wish I hadn't have promised to do that. And then they will usually take responsibility. They will usually take ownership for their behaviour. They wouldn't repeatedly let other people down. People can become forgetful for various reasons. However, they would usually be blaming and questioning themselves and calling themselves names for being forgetful. When you're dealing with a narcissistic person, they're going to be blaming everybody else. A toxic relationship is a toxic relationship. The narcissist personality disorder is more to describe the reasons behind someone's behaviour. It's not to excuse their behaviour. And someone would need at least five of the nine criteria in order to be classed as on the spectrum of the disorder. You can deal with someone who has two or three characteristics who's not necessarily a narcissist. However, they're going to be very narcissistic they're going to have high traits of narcissism and they might not be the kinds of people you want to spend too much of your time around the main things you're looking for is that lack of empathy the exploitative behavior a sense of entitlement a requirement for excessive attention and those arrogant and haunting behaviors so when it comes to a narcissist stalling, this is a covert method narcissistic people use to hide their true intent from you. It is a passive aggressive form of manipulation where they want to indirectly neglect, where they want to avoid taking responsibility for their words, where they want to avoid taking responsibility for who they are as a person, where they want to make other people's lives as difficult as possible. And ironically, they will say to you, why do you have to make everything so difficult when you question them about it or when you set a boundary with the narcissist? They will accuse you of making life difficult because that is what they're doing to you. Stalling is a way for a narcissist to maintain control over your life, usually because a narcissistic person is incredibly envious of others and seeks to sabotage others as they feel entitled to have their own way and they lack the empathy to care for how their behaviour affects those around them. So a narcissist might procrastinate. Now, people can do this for various reasons depending on what they are going through within their lives. Like I said, when it comes to a narcissist, they will be repeatedly showing this behaviour and they will have other criteria, other behaviours within their behaviour also. So when it comes to procrastination, you can have people who procrastinate that are affecting their own life not really affecting other people's lives. They're holding themselves back. When a narcissistic person procrastinates, they're usually doing it to hold somebody else back because when it's something they want to do, they're very quick or off the mark to do it. When they want to go out somewhere, they're very quick to get out of bed, get ready and get out that door and they will be moaning at you for doing your usual routine and being ready on time. But because you're not ready 15 minutes early, like they want, 
you are the one then that's in the wrong. However, when it comes to them agreeing to going somewhere with you that perhaps they don't want to go to, they're the ones that are going to be laying in bed. They're the ones that are going to be sat on the toilet. They're the ones that are going to be messing around, turning everything off in the house. They're the ones that are going to delay getting out of that door to work you up, to get you to react to them, how they reacted to you when you were running on time or early for them. But as soon as you react to them and ask them to hurry it up, that say that they're going to make you late, they're going to chip away at you. They're going to make you feel bad. They're going to turn around and say, well, I might as well not bother coming then, had I? Well, if you're going to be in this mood, it's not really worth me joining you, is it? So a narcissist procrastination is to stall you, to delay you, to postpone something for you, to avoid doing something with you. However, if it's something they want to do, all of a sudden they can just get up and do this. People who are non-narcissistic that procrastinate usually find it difficult to get up and do things that would benefit themselves. Forgetting things. People can be forgetful. However, they would usually say, I'm sorry, I forgot. When it comes to a narcissist, it will be a case of you never asked me to do this. You should have reminded me. I never said I'd do that for you. They're going to be shifting the blame over to you because they don't want to take the responsibility that they either promised to do something for you and then didn't do it or that they forgot to do something because they perceive themselves to be as perfect. So it be, can be something as simple as picking up a pint of milk on the way home. Oh, well, they're on milk. Oh, don't worry, I'll get some on the way home. And then they walk through the door without it. Whereas most genuine people could come through the door and think, oh, on the back out and get it. A narcissist is going to jump on the defensive and claim, well, it's your fault. You didn't message me to remind me. I never said I'd pick that up. You said you'd get it, even though you know full well you didn't. When it comes to divorces, forgetting to send off vital information that you need, stalling the divorce, dragging the divorce out for as long as they possibly can. Some, the divorce can last longer than the actual marriage. As when a narcissist isn't getting their own way, they can take twice as long or more at doing something they said they would do because they're not getting it how they wanted it. Stonewalling is a classic narcissistic tactic to stall something. When you ask a narcissist a question that they don't want to answer, they might answer that question with a question to get you on the defensive so you're the one that's explaining and justifying yourself to them so they don't have to explain and justify themselves to you. They may refuse to answer a question, they may fall silent on you, they may refuse to compromise, they're just going to keep coming back to how they want it their way and their way only. They're going to make it as difficult as possible for you to do anything other than their way. Usually with things such as threats and intimidation. They will refuse to listen to your thoughts, your feelings, your opinions. They may bring it back onto themselves. They might fall silent on you and talk to everybody around you. Nothing ever gets resolved with a narcissist because they constantly stall any conversation that needs to be had or they rage out at you, or they fall silent on you. Withholding information, withholding resources to stall events, to stall things happening. If, if you're looking at buying a house together, they're going to withhold how much money they earn. It can be narcissistic parents can do this. If, if they have a child that wants to go to university, and you need proof of income in order to help that child go to university. A narcissistic parent will not give their financial information over. They'll tell the other parent to make something up 
all to sabotage their own child, all to delay the child's further education so that the narcissist can feel better about themselves. They will stall in a divorce, they will give false information or they will delay the information needed or they will give the wrong information needed for that deadline and then, oh, I'm sorry, you didn't tell me it needed to be this. And then they'll just keep dragging it out for as long as they possibly can. Child custody, you will get an order that both parties at that time in the front of a judge seemingly agreed on because the narcissist realised that's what that judge wanted. Then they will constantly breach that order. So you have to keep taking them back to sort it out. Broken agreements, broken promises. Narcissistic people, future faith, they promise you something in the present moment either to influence you into trusting and believing within them to give you that false hope to breadcrumb you into the relationship to bait you and then when the future event comes because they got what they needed at that present moment in time they all of a sudden forget about that promise they made to you all those I never said that if you hadn't I would or to distract you from how painful it is in the present moment. They're going to promise you things such as change, marriage, children, holidays, the things that you originally agreed to do together. So if, if you say no to them, you feel like you're letting them down also because these are plans that you made together that a narcissist is going to use to future fate to distract you from how painful life is with that person yet when the future comes they're going to always fail to deliver or they might just say next year when i've got this bonus next month when we've done this once we've got this we will do that they are constantly setting the deadline back so that it never gets reached which is when they come at you with all those excuses of i'm sorry if you and have done this then yes we would be doing that right now i'm sorry you forgot to remind me when it comes to a narcissist they will always find a way to justify their behavior away excuse their behavior away any false po apologies given are false apologies to distract you from what they're doing to you and usually has a you in there a but or an if because they're going to avoid taking responsibility and they're going to pass responsibility over to you by saying, I'm sorry, if only you. I'm sorry, but you didn't remind me. So if you are unlucky enough to have a narcissist that says sorry to you, it's not a genuine apology. It's a false apology. Narcissistic people stall things that aren't going in their favour because they want to sabotage you because they're envious of you because they don't want to see you moving on they don't want to see you doing well because the promises they made to you they didn't make because they genuinely wanted to do these those things with you they wanted to exploit you at that present moment in time or they want to keep control over you. This is why they will drag things such as divorces and child arrangements out because they want control and they want the final say. So a narcissist will use various different covert passive aggressive methods to stall you so that you and those around you cannot see what they are actually doing to you until you're in that deep that you have to dig your way back out. If anyone has any examples on how a narcissist stalled something within your life, please do add those into the comments. If you are looking for further support and understanding and help overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak with, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. If you find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support and your brilliant comments. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.